Steel Wire Torch. That's different. How is that different than... Like, in what ways are, are it different than the torch I already have? It has slightly better attack. Which, you know, is a torch. And it has... Oh, Fire Breed. Oh, okay then. Torch wound with metal wire. The flame can illuminate dark locales or be used to attack enemies. Heavier than a normal torch, but the heated filament boosts fire damage dealt. Fire breather. Blow into torch flame, spreading flames into a wide frontward arc. The flames on the ground will continue to burn for a short time. Cool. I like that. That's cool. That's... you know what? That was a good find. That might be my new favorite torch. Seeing as how the old torch didn't have any special abilities other than lighting up rooms. <laughs> Alright, and this is the giant pyre where I fought those guys already. There's more stuff happening over there. Is there a ladder going up that? I don't believe there is. So if I want to get to that battlement. I need to go back up over here, where I had gone to before, and drop down to get to the lost site of Lost Grace. Climb down that ladder, and then move over here. And... I wonder if there's something to do up there. Jump. Okay. Speaking of which, is there anything I can do up here? Doesn't seem like it. That looks like it's a walkway, but there's no way to get to it. So I'm assuming they don't actually expect you to try. Okay, well... I have no arrows. I have a thousand runes. I kind of wanted to get a little bit more runes before getting arrows, so... Hmm. But yeah, having the invisible enemies fixed with this mod is excellent. Now, if this is something that's affecting you, and, you know, if so, for some reason you decided to watch me play this game instead of playing it yourself, download Reterandils. That's R-E-T-E-R-A-N-D-I-L. Um, download their mod from Nexus Mods. It's just called Invisible Enemies Fix. Wait, is that what it's called? Invisible Enemies Bug Fix. Yes, that's what it's called. That's that's what I got. It does say on the description not to play online with it, though. So it might be the sort of thing where the guy who made the mod isn't totally sure if it's going to be detected by anti-cheat. I already have anti-cheat disabled and I'm playing on offline anyway, so that doesn't matter to me. I never did figure out what's going on with the pothead. Am I drawing aggro? Oh, I am drawing some aggro. Oh! He didn't actually see where I went. Oh! Nice. Oh, that got his attention too. Dead? No, not quite dead. There we go. Anyone else coming over for a piece of this? No? Alright. Alright, Pothead. Let's see what your deal is. I probably can't backstab you. But I'm still gonna try.
Oof. Can I lead him into the group? This dog's gonna be a problem. Ooh, the, both of these dogs are gonna be a problem. Okay, you know what? Let's just leave. I already sent the elevator down, didn't I? Fuck. No, well. At least I died close to the elevator. <clears throat> Pothead's still alive, and he is wrecking shit up. If I can trigger Pothead to wreck shit up at the pyre, that would be useful in future runs. You know what? Let's try that. Then that way, if I end up dying, I'll be close to the elevator again anyway. There we are. This time I will not send the elevator back down. Just in case I need an escape. So if I trot along here... I'm hoping that didn't cause anyone to follow, but if it did, I'll just kind of hide. So I think they're not very fast when they're just investigating. And they probably don't come to my current position. They go to where they last saw me. Which is nice, because I don't think I don't think enemies in Dark Souls have ever done that before. I could be wrong, but this is the first time I tried to play super stealthy like this. There's stuff going on up there. Alright. Don't have an easy way to get back. Well, I mean, I can jump. Oh. See, it's funny, because he was turning around to leave, and then he saw me as he was leaving last time. Okay. I went to switch my knife, but I already had another attack buffered. Oh. Whoa, I don't know how that missed me. I was unprepared for this attack. Okay. Fuck me. That could have gone better. That was not my finest moment. Alright, yeah. Flail. Can I jump up here? I cannot jump up here. I was thinking I could. Well. Hey guys. Let's wreck shit up. <laughs> That's what you like to see. Oh, he died. Sorry, pothead. Oh, wow. Didn't even trigger all of the enemies. Oh, that was a weird delayed roll. Yeah. We could have gone for a parry repose there, but... 
That's the axe man. Let's go for the dogs. Oh. Did I activate the rest of the dogs? I might have. Damn it! Okay. That's okay. I was hoping I'd get whatever pot had dropped. Hopefully it's not like a unique item, like a one-time drop. Alright, I'm just gonna get my runes and head out. Buy some arrows. Which is really what I need right now is more arrows. I'm all out. Been out for a while. Okay, 1209. Okay. Boom. Now, so we'll sneak past. We can trigger Pothead again, just to cause some chaos. So I'm doing a rush sneak right now. I wonder if that's more likely to get their attention. Doesn't seem like it. Got a little bit of heavy armor on. Like, I got the soldier greaves and I got the soldier gauntlets. But it doesn't seem to be... Doesn't seem to significantly change how stealthy I am. Okay. Aha. Okay, so it's going to be at least one. Got you. Ooh, god damn it. God damn it. Oh, well, there goes those runes. <clears throat> That was not... yeah, I didn't handle that well. It was going well at first, because I was attacking them both with the same swings before the first one died. Okay. I was mainly just doing it for the runes. Now that the runes aren't really there anymore, kind of don't... What is with this room, anyway? <clears throat> I think I must have just gotten an item out of this room, but there wasn't anything else. And that golem is no longer spawning. He was just a one and done. Let's look, let's... Now that the golem is dead, let's hunt around a little bit more. Makes me wonder if there's something... something I could have found over here. Oh, there's another... There's another monument. Is that also to go... Godwin the... Godwin the Golden? Or Godric? The Siege of Castle Morn. A lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. Godfrey, okay. Godfrey the Golden. <clears throat> Man. I kind of wonder if these guys hate Godfrey. Ooh, red jellyfish. What you mad about, jellyfish, huh? What you mad about? Got some items there. Dude. They were just normal jellyfish. I probably would have left them alone. Uh, I don't have any arrows. Oh.
They're cool. Not sure if I want to fight them right now, though. Not in a group like that. Whoa! Okay, they got range. They got range on their attacks. I'm gonna leave. I got what I needed. <laughs> That hit... Okay, they they really do have range. Okay, what else have we got that we can explore up here? Oh, there's a dude. There's a lot of dudes. Oh, this is that swamp. I forgot about the swamp. There's a lot of these dudes. I'm not sure if I was seeing them all the first time. Now, do I get any status ailment by standing in this water? Yes, I do. That's poison. Poison bloom. Ooh. That sounds useful. Ooh. Do I get that guy's attention? He's coming over to investigate, but he's kind of slow. I'm not too worried about these guys. Can they even leave their swamp? Okay, it appeared- oh! Oh, he's a lunger! If he tries to hug me, he'll probably poison me. Oh! That was- That was- I, I misjudged that distance. Okay, cool. Oh, he's gonna do some sort of spray. Yeah, that would poison me too, probably. Almost a wonder they don't spray you when they die. Well, on the upside, they're not, they're not too difficult to beat. Just have to make sure you don't get surrounded by them. Oh man. Having a jump button for dealing with these swamps is so... Oof. Hey! That... That feels illegal. I feel like you shouldn't have been able to do that, Mr. Slime. Okay, any more? I've never seen those pink poison blooms before, so I'm assuming they're not very common. Might as well just grab a few of them before I leave. Interesting. Any more stuff to get? Ooh, what is that? You don't even really have to fight these guys. You just have to be quick enough to avoid getting their attacks, because they are super slow. There's a lot of them, but they're super slow. Alright, well... Ooh. I hear some. Wait. Oh, that's a squirrel. I thought that was one of those imps that I fought in the catacombs, the first, the first set of catacombs. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to find. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Damn it! He's- okay, it's just the same one teleporting around. No arrows. Maybe I should just carry a crossbow just for the sake of having an extra. Is he facing towards me? He is too, isn't he? Yeah.
what I should do. Try to go up from the ball side. Let's just try to be a little extra sneaky. I'm not sure how much of a difference that'll make, but if it's enough, it's enough. Ah! Got his attention as soon as I started to charge up my attack. Gotcha. Poison Mist. It's a spell. Now, Poison Mist was a sorcery in the previous games. What is it now? Inventory. What is it considered? It's an incantation. Incantation. Incantations of the Servants of Rot releases a poison mist before the caster. This incantation can be cast while in motion. Those who dwell within poison know rot all too well. The death that begets life, that comes to all equally. That is to say, it is the cycle of rebirth put into practice. Cool, cool. And it takes 12 faith. These are all faith-based incantations. Is that a bear? Ooh, village corpse, sliver of meat. Yeah, it's a bear. Hmm. Okay, this should be safe. Hey bear, want a tango? If he's just like a friendly bear, I'm not going to. Okay, not a friendly bear. Ooh, let's not get too close to the edge. Nice. And yes, I have seen clips of people getting smacked up by a larger bear after killing that bear. I don't think this is that area, though. What was that? Oh, must be those chipmunks. Is there anything else here to investigate? Doesn't really seem like it. I haven't looked at the shoreline yet. No. No shore. Just a cliffside. Alright, well let's check this place out over here. Basically, anywhere that the golem could have been shooting at me from, or shoot, shooting at me while I was standing, is potentially a place where some stuff was hidden that I wouldn't have been able to reach beforehand. Oh hey, what's this? Pick up item, map, Weaving Peninsula. Oh nice. New map has been found, so... Okay, so there's this whole area. So there's the minor Erd tree. I've been there already. What is this? There's something that looks like a small village or a castle or something. Ah, there's another one of those. 
an Evergowl. There's an Evergowl somewhere up here, too, but I couldn't find it. It would have been somewhere up here, probably, where I haven't discovered any of the map. Okay, so, either way, there's still more stuff to explore. And this is Lionel, or whatever he was named. There's a small, a mini herd tree. Is this one that I've checked out already? Oh! Nice. Okay. There was one that I checked out around here, so this must be it. There we go. Golden rune. Alright. It is nice to not have my horse disappear while I'm riding it. Okay. Can I go underneath here? Ah, uh, no. I cannot. At least not on this side. Let's check the other side. No, the other side is even more buried. Okay. Now... So... <clears throat> for the mainline quest, I think I'm supposed to kill that grafted dude at Storm Stormvale Castle. Pretty good? Sure. You have arrows. Nice. Yes, you do. Four? Oh. Yeah, I don't have that many. Maybe I should sell. Let us... Yeah. My strategy before in the previous Dark Souls games is sell your lowest ones first. That's 3,000 right there. That's pretty decent. Just buy a ton of arrows. Good, that's fine with me. If it works the way I think it's supposed to work, then those extra arrows will stay on the chest until the next time I go to a set of grace. If I need to restock, it automatically does it for me. You know what, let's... Maybe we should sort the chest a little bit, because I've got weapons that I will never use. Because they are just not suited for this build. Alright, so the dagger... We'll hang on to. Straight sword. We have multiple straight swords. I can use this now. Interesting. Play more... Oh, Lord Swain's Great Sword. Okay, so or Lord Sorn's Straight Sword and Great Sword. Okay. Bloodhound Fang. I would like to eventually use this. Oh except the yeah, the strength is so high. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. No to that, no to that. We've we'll keep hang on hanging on to that. No to those. Strength is quite high for that. Faith is very high for that. I kind of want to use the hook claws. Replace the great knife with hook claws for a little while. I almost wonder if I should sell those weapons that I'm not going to use. Oh yeah, I never did look into this. So, spinning slash... That makes it... Is this a quality? Great. Okay. Keen. Quality. Magic knife. 
great. No, okay, no. Great knife is, is what it is already. So keen is dexterity based. It improves the dexterity. It also slightly improves strength for whatever reason. It just reduces your base attack. I thought keen would decrease your strength scaling, not increase it. Quality. Interesting. So that's decreasing my dex for that one, even though it's quality. Magic great knife. And just great knife. Standard. Uh, switch view, right? So... That is a damage increase overall. It's like, it's almost breaking even. Because we're losing... Yeah, we're losing 7 points of base damage, but gaining 9 of bonus damage from scaling. From the scaling increase. I mean, we may as well. At least to just make it keen. I'm guessing we can't apply the quick step ash to this. I almost never use quick step either. Let's test it a little bit. So, these are normal. That's a heavy. Okay, that's your back step attack. Back step normal. And here's my special. Yeah, that's cool. It's a little bit slow, but it's, I mean, it's fine. It's not really what I would want in the long term for the Great Knife, but... I think it, I think it does the trick. I'm probably gonna have to quit in a little bit. Uh... All right, well, I think, yeah, I think we can leave it there for now. If I, if I keep on focusing on dexterity and possibly also a little bit of strength, then this knife will just get better. As for the flail, same thing. Actually, is it magic? Is it a magic flail right now? I think it's a magic flail right now. Yeah, it's gravitas. That's the magic. Oof. Good thing that area of effect isn't much larger. Alright, so... Where do we go next? I'm not entirely sure. But we'll figure it out as we go along. Why is this pointing down here? Okay, so guidance... is pointing me to different directions. So that guidance is guiding me over here. There's no guidance behind these guys. I think that's just like a hundred runes that I dropped. So here's that little poison swamp. Here's this village sort of thing here. That's what it looks like at least. Hmm. There's an Evergowl. Never did figure out if there's another way across to that little island there. But if there is, it's probably over here. We haven't fully explored this shoreline yet. And if I don't find it there, then it's probably 
a teleport that I have to do at some point. Alright, well, we'll call it here. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I know this is a little bit of a shorter one, but... Unfortunately, real-life obligations prevent me from playing more. So, I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and thank you for joining me. You take her easy.